And then what's kind of your view? So there's two startup founders, or maybe a team of three engineers. They're creating a product. Now they have to actually start making revenue. One of them goes, okay, I'll start doing sales for the team. What would your advice be if that group came to you? And they had no experience in sales before? No experience in sales, but they all have masters and PhDs. Oh, even better. <laughs> uh, friends, family, and LinkedIn profile is the first place I start. Who do you, uh, so you, what you want to look for is know, like, and trust. That's the answer you're trying to, that's what you're trying to get to. Who do I, who knows me, yeah. who likes me, who trusts me? Okay. Start there. If you can start with who knows, like, and trust, the, the people, they might not buy your product, mm. but at least they'll listen to your sales pitch because they know, they like, and they trust you. Mm. And if you have no experience in sales and you're a bunch of PhDs and engineers, you're going uh, you're gonna, to you're gonna butcher the sales uh, pitch quite frequently early on. Mm. So you really want to do it with people that won't call you out on it, that won't uh, force you to get to the end of the sale quickly, will actually listen to the sales pitch. Great. So, so earlier on Silicon Valley Successes, I think it was episode four, we had Doris Pickering with Silicon Valley Speaks that gave a lot of tips on honing your, your sales pitch. So if you want to watch that episode, please visit SiliconValleySuccesses.com. Once again, that's SiliconValleySuccesses.com for more information. And also visit our Facebook and check us out on LinkedIn. Now let's get back to Wit. Wit, please tell us a little bit more about maybe a founder, they have a team, they've raised some funding, they want to hire a salesperson. What attributes or qualities should they look for in hiring that person? What should they expect from him or her? Do I get a specific industry that this? Uh, we'll say um, it's an IoT de IoT company. IoT device of some sort. Okay. Um, so the attributes of somebody that you're looking for in sales. Uh, it can vary. Uh, if they're a technical expert, if, there, if there's a need for that technical expertise of some type within the IoT world, um, you might be looking for somebody with a little bit more experience and maybe not as, uh, not as much cold calling, for example. Uh, if you're looking to hire one person, I, I would say almost 100% of the time, if I'm going to hire a, a salesperson, I, I'm looking for the person itself who is going out and representing the product. Mm. Sales is one of those things that um, I can't, you know, if I'm your boss, I'm not going to show up in your bed and wake you up in the morning. Mm. You got to get up and you got to do it yourself. And it's, it is unforgiving. I know many people think sales is an easy thing or, oh, salesmen aren't that bright or they're not, you know, they're only, they're only re reiterating or regurgitating whatever it is the company told them to say. Um, and I, 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 I'm a salesman, so I disagree, of course, but <laughs> you might be right. Uh, but what I do think is that uh, because they have that mentality, because they have that uh, genre about them, yeah. that reputation, uh, quite often people think, well, you can just get any salesman out there. They're a dime a dozen. So I, I would go for somebody with a little bit, if I'm a startup of three selling in an IoT world, uh, probably somebody that has a little bit of experience in sales. Right. Uh, but for the most part, uh, has the tenacity to go out there and actually build a book of business, actually build a group of clients that will buy this product. Because that uh, nitty, uh, nitty grittiness that, you know, you call it the stick to itiveness that yeah. is common in the phrase in sales, uh, is very, very difficult to find. It is a tough commodity to find. Okay, now, how should a, a startup founder that doesn't really know much about sales kind of measure the progress of their salesperson? Like, for example... I was eavesdropping in a conversation earlier about one startup that had a sales representative and then just fired that person. I didn't hear the whole conversation, sure. yeah. but uh, I think you heard some I, of it. I was, in, I was in the conversation, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> could, you, could you tell a little bit about that without giving any names and kind of see name dropping from, from your opinion? Yeah. yeah, so the story to catch the viewers up is uh, basically a, um, a founder of a company fired uh, a salesperson that they had that was making appointments for them. Uh, I don't have all of the details. Um, from my perspective, they were making, they were scheduling an appointment a day uh, based off the time and the numbers that I was shown. I broke it down to meaning that they, in a one month period, uh, they worked for 13 days and they scheduled 13 appointments. Mm -hmm. In my, if you were going to do that, uh, depending on what you're scheduling an appointment for, I'd say that's pretty good. Uh, and I'd say I would be very happy if I was the founder getting 13 appointments in a one-month period. 
Um, and the other question that I would kind of ask the founder is exactly how many appointments were you hoping to get out of this? Mm. Uh, uh, appointment setting is a very unforgiving thing to do. You sit at a phone all day and you sit there and you smile and you dial. Yeah. Uh, dialing for dollars you know, is another way to put it. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, what I heard in that story is the was the apparently the founder said it seemed like they were wasting time. It seemed like from the clock, from the amount of time that they were on the phone versus not on the phone, there was a lot of 30-minute windows, gaps, <laughs> where they were unable to see what the appointment setter was doing. Um, I've been on that phone before. I, yeah. I know what it means to sit that chair. Uh, I, I, I would say that's an overreaction by the founder. Uh, if you have somebody who's producing sales or producing your leads uh, and you have no other viable option to get those sales or to get those leads, I'd think very carefully about letting somebody go who's actually producing numbers. Okay. So that's very interesting that appointments are, are kind of a key indicator of, of performance. Uh, another thing I'd like to talk about, 